is Rita, and I am a dietetic intern from Ball State University, currently working with the American Dairy Association in Indiana. In this video, I will be teaching you how to do a really cool science experiment where we make plastic out of milk. Milk contains 13 essential nutrients, including calcium, protein, vitamin D, phosphorus, vitamin A, riboflavin, vitamin B12, pantothenic acid, niacin, zinc, selenium, iodine, and potassium. It is also considered a source of high quality protein containing 8 to 10 grams of protein in just one cup. The Dietary Guidelines for Americans recommends that children aged 9 years and older consume three servings of dairy products every day. One serving of dairy is equal to an 8 ounce glass of milk, a 6 or 8 ounce container of yogurt, or 1.5 ounces of natural cheeses. The experiment we're doing today will allow us to see some of that protein that's in milk that you drink every day. By the end, you will be able to make your own plastic out of the protein that's in milk and be able to describe what transformation is taking place during the experiment as well as in your body when you drink milk. Let's get started. For this experiment, you will need one cup of milk, four teaspoons of white vinegar, a stove, a small pot, liquid measuring cups, measuring spoons, a spoon or some kind of stirring utensil, a strainer, cheesecloth or paper towels, a bowl, a plate or board, cookie cutters of choice, I have chosen this cow and milk bottle, and decorations of choice, I've chosen acrylic paint pens, but you can also use regular paint, markers, glitter, etc. To make milk plastic, put one cup of milk in a small pot and heat until steaming. Once it is steaming, you can remove it from heat and then add four teaspoons of white vinegar to the milk. You will want to mix this until curds form and then you can allow it to cool. Once cool, you can strain the curds using a strainer and stacked paper towels. Here I'm just showing you what the separated curds look like once you've strained them. The strained curds can be formed together into a cookie cutter. I'm using this cute milk bottle shaped one for now. Now we're gonna let that plastic sit for about 48 hours so it can dry out and the plastic can harden. While we wait for that to happen, let's talk about the chemical change we saw take place. Milk contains a type of protein called casein. A protein is a large chemical structure made up of smaller structures called amino acids. Proteins can be found in foods such as meats, eggs, beans, nuts, and grains. When you eat protein containing foods, your body uses it for many different functions in your body, including muscle strength. We can break that protein down and separate it from the other components in the milk by either heating it or making it more acidic. In this experiment, we did both of those things. We heated the milk and you saw it steam, and then we added vinegar, which is an acidic liquid. Because of the changes we did, the protein casein separated out and became moldable, like a plastic. Heat and acid are two chemical changes that your digestive system uses when you drink milk in order to break down the protein and separate it out so that it can be used throughout your body. Remember, the temperature and acidity changes we made are considered chemical changes because they change the properties of the protein on a molecular level. When we say that the change happens on a molecular level, we mean that the substance is completely changed. Another example of a chemical change is when you burn wood. The heat of the fire changes the wood into ash and gases. You cannot turn that back into wood. Through the reaction we saw, we created an entirely new substance. The curds and the plastic cannot be changed back into milk and vinegar, meaning the action is irreversible. After 48 hours, you can decorate your new milk plastic however you want. I made one earlier this week and made it to look like a cow. During World War II, when plastic was expensive and not always available, housewives would use milk plastic as a substitute. They would make buttons, jewelry, and other items. Depending on how you shape your milk plastic will determine how you can use it. Today, we used heat, 
and acid to chemically change milk into plastic. We used cookie cutters to make them into specific shapes and decorated them how we wanted. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Make sure to subscribe to the Indiana Dairy YouTube channel to see more fun science videos coming your way soon. Thanks, bye!